is Catherine G. McRae from Be Your Own Superhero, and this is our success series. We're hanging out at Main Street uh, Salon and Spa. We're in their uh, beautiful cafe. And I'd like to welcome my guest today, Janelle Tang. Janelle is the licensee for Paint Night, Sault Ste. Marie. Welcome, Janelle. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I just wanted to talk a little bit about paint night. As mm -hmm. I attended my first uh, paint night session a few weeks back, I felt like I was the only lady left in Sault Ste. Marie that hadn't been to one. And it was just a blast. I had a really good time. And I think I'm a spectacular artist. <laughs> After that, I'd never drawn or painted a thing in my life. Oh, great. And it was so much fun. I do have my artwork up on the wall at That's home. Great. So uh, maybe you can tell me a little bit about how you came about to be the licensee for Paint Night to St. Marie. I have been a bachelor's in fine arts, and but I never wanted to be an artist when I grew up. I just have a facility for arts. It's something I can do very easily, but I, I wanted to be a curator. I wanted to work in the museums. I wanted to develop exhibitions. And so the next step was to do my master's. So I did a master's in museum studies. And then uh, we moved in Alberta. We moved to Calgary and I worked there for eight years at the Glenbow Museum. Okay. And so working at the Glenbow Museum, I noticed a constant struggle to get the general public through the door. So we'd also usually see people who had uh, you know, maybe a fine arts background, art history, or someone who had specific interest in art. But you wouldn't see, you know, huge crowds. And it was always a challenge, and I think it's the same for most museums, to get people through the door. So one of my tasks of my job was to try to figure out to, to communicate and to be more, I guess, uh, meaningful to the general public. So when I knew that I was moving to Sault Ste. Marie, I knew I wouldn't have a job anymore. And I just stumbled on this ad for paint night uh, in Edmonton. And uh, as soon as I saw it, it just, the lights went off. I couldn't believe it. It was just a perfect idea of mixing a social event, a social setting with art. And what makes it so great is it takes the intimidation away from art. So we're, you know, in a bar or a restaurant, so it's a very non-intimidating space. It's a paid space that you're used to, that you go already, perhaps with friends. And a lot of people go just to have fun, right? They go, they, they might say, oh, I, I'm going to go and have fun. I'm not an artist. Things, you know, they, it might not turn out well. So they go and maybe they don't have high expectations and sometimes that's good because then you can impress yourself even more right I know I certainly did I you know my art skill is you know I'm drawing a poor stick man up to, up to that point I'd never painted a thing or drawn a thing and uh, I found it to be fun and because there was no there's no pressure you just no. go and enjoy yourself so it's a fabulous concept yeah, so we try to create a very non-judgmental zone. We break it down in tiny step-by-step -step, um, so that everyone can, can, everyone can take one painting and create that painting no matter what skill level you are. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a great way for going out with friends. Another thing I really like about pay night is you can go with your girlfriends, you can go as a date night. You could go with your grandma, your daughter, as long as they're over 19. So you see generations of people together next to young, you know, young group of women. So there's no social barriers either. And we try to keep people in small sections. We don't separate everyone. So everyone's together. So you're all in it together. Right. So I think there's a lot of camaraderie in it and so it's it's really neat to see people talking to each other that might not have known each other prior to paint night and you started making friends at paint night so it's a really nice little group. Did you ever imagine that uh, you would be um, incorporating art as a business 
um, outside of you know an art gallery mm -hmm. museum did you ever imagine that that you would I don't think I've come ever into that I don't think I've ever thought that I would have a business myself I, I don't think I ever considered that as a, an option and I think that is one of the reasons why I'm with Startup Sioux right now, uh, which is a group in um, Sault Ste. Marie and we encourage people who might be thinking about starting their own business to, uh, to help them you know, think it through, give them uh, tools, give them people to talk to, whatever they need. We have book club events, we have uh, mingling events. Uh, it's a very nice casual way to get together. And so it's, it's, it was one of those things where it just happened. I didn't have any other job. So I said, hmm, I'll try it out, see what happens, right? And I think that's, that's the hardest part is the first step is it's usually the, the most work takes, what, what feels like the most work is the first few steps to get the business started. But well, once you get started, it doesn't feel like work as much. It almost feels fun. If it's something you really enjoy doing, that you're passionate doing, it's, it's almost pleasant and fun. So Passion seems to be the key that we've come across over and over again in, in this success series as um, maybe the, for the fuel to start that business and to keep going. Would you say that passion is something that drives you? Um, with paint night and, and, and startups, Susie mm -hmm. Marie and, and all the different things that you're involved in? Yes, I would say that uh, when I wanted to be a curator and it seems like it was really hard for me to, to get into it and I think it's because I lacked, I, I wasn't passionate about it, right? It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to listen to yourself listen to your mind, listen to your body, what it's telling you. If something's hard, maybe you're not supposed to be doing that thing. Something, sh maybe it shouldn't be, it shouldn't feel hard if you really like something or you're really passionate about something. So with, with Pain Night to Saint Marie, what I enjoyed about it was that it's, it was all bits and pieces of my experiences from the past together in one business. So I did a lot of uh, I worked a lot in the, uh, you know, uh, restaurants. I worked a lot in the service industry. So I how did that play into what you do now? Like from going from a restaurant to mm -hmm. a paint night. Well, I know how to business. deal with restaurants. I know uh, what they what they need, what they're looking for. I also know, you know, that customers come first. I think that's very very important to know in the service industry. If your customers are happy, that's the best form yeah, of advertisement, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, you do whatever it takes to make your customers happy, and that's really what I feel like is really important uh, with, with, the, with my business. What would you say, Janelle, is the most uh, challenging aspect of your business that you've maybe felt challenged by either presently or in the mm -hmm. past? Um, I would say when I first arrived here, Pay night really exploded. It was huge, right? So what was really great about it is that, you know, I didn't have to work really hard to get the ball rolling. You know, people were just coming because the word of mouth was great. So I think the challenge now is to to get people to come back, keep it sustainable, you know, and find other ways to promote yourself. Is really, I think, uh, after the honeymoon phase is over, after a business, you know, uh, is open, has been around for a few years, that can be a little bit challenging for some people because now what, you know? Like, right. You've yeah. gone through the initial phase of people being really excited about your business, and now, you know, you have to always keep inventing, reinventing yourself, offering something new. If it's not something new, they're not going to care, maybe, right? So you really have to always be thinking outside the box and bringing new ideas to uh, to your business. I think the uh, paint with the wine helps too. I mm -hmm. think that, <laughs> yep. that will make it uh, that much more enjoyable, at least for me anyhow. Yep. Um, so with that and, and paint night and, and working with um, startup Sault Ste. Marie, how do you manage your time being involved in so many things? Do you have certain systems in place to run your 
business and manage your time that you kind of depend on to make sure you stay on schedule when you're so busy, mm -hmm. plus uh, raising young children? Yeah, um, I think that's still a struggle. It's hard. It's hard to find a, a, a balance, a work-life balance, especially when you work from home. The uh, I do enjoy working, so whenever I can, I do some work. You know, it's not a nine-to-five job at all. I do pretty much. I work every day. I work every day, but some days because I'm my own boss, I can decide when I want to work and how many hours I work a day. So you know, I can take a vacation, but when I get back, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have a little bit more work to do. So it's 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 really nice to have that flexibility, especially with the kids. I don't think uh, I would have it any other way. I'm really happy with uh, everything, and 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 I find a lot of the, the smaller organizations that I help uh, on the side, it's really part of a, a whole, right? It's, it doesn't feel like a separate thing, if, you know, you try to do a few things here and there, but it's everything is linked somehow together. So. And when you're running your own business, you're kind of involved in so many different aspects of it mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I like to think of myself as a generalist. I've always, that was the other thing too, is I, I as a curator and being in the art world, a lot of people concentrate on one tiny, tiny part of history, art history, or um, art, and I just wasn't that person. I like to have my, you know, I like to do everything. <laughs> <Like> you <laughs> enjoy everything. a broader range yeah. of uh, getting into a little bit of everything to yeah. keep your business up and running and, and learning too. I, mm -hmm. I kind of sense from you that you're just huge on learning mm -hmm. all the time. New, uh, new skills and, and new things to bring forward in your business and, and helping others. I know you're um, uh, just an integral part of this community now with the uh, young entrepreneurs and helping small businesses get started and getting the systems in place that they need. I'd like to ask you, Janelle, um, from a, a personal uh, perspective, what, um, you know, having been on a roundabout long road to where you are now, what would you say is your um, greatest success as far as, you know, integrating your personal life and business? So defining what really is success means for you? I think success is, is being in a place where you feel you feel like you found yourself. Um, before pain night, I just didn't feel, especially where I, I was living, the last place I was living, I felt really disconnected because I was working for the museum. I was working for Glenville, but I was working from home. So I was by myself. I had a very small child, and so I felt very disconnected from everyone. And I like being a part of the community. I always been trying to, you know, uh, get myself involved in the community, and and so it's just making sure that uh, that you find what makes you feel happy, and and just going for for challenges. If you don't challenge yourself, you can't grow. So I think that's really important, and for people not to be afraid of trying new things. Well, I want to thank you very much for sharing uh, your experience with us today and um, for any new entrepreneurs that may, might be viewing the videos. I think you provided uh, a wonderful range of information for people. Um, and you have a very successful business. I love Paint Night. It was a fabulous experience. Great. So I think you're a superhero. Oh, so, and this is the Be Your Own Superhero Success Series, so thank you very much for inspiring us, Janelle. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank Shaw for um, hosting this video as well. And thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having it. me, it was great, and I always enjoy helping other people out, so thank you. Thanks, Janelle.